Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are going to look at something very festive for the holiday season. This is the Burberry Festive Monogram Palette, eyeshadow palette from the Burberry Festive Monogram Collection. Um, and this little guy is an expensive and pricey little thing and I debated. Now we're going to talk about it but let me just tell you first where I'm coming from here. I come from a fashion background, of course, because I was a fashion journalist before I was ever even a beauty journalist and before I came here. And I know the houses that have done perfumes and Burberry's done perfumes for a long time and makeup, you know, Dior and Chanel have done that forever. And I always side eye brands like Christian Louboutin and Hermes, frankly, um, Gucci, burned many times by Gucci makeup, and now even Burberry. So when they do makeup, I do side eye them a little bit, like what is your intent on getting into this area? And a lot of these brands, of course, have done, you know, I have Hermes lipstick from 15 years ago. Um, so I do know that they have dabbled in it, but I mean like extensive collections. I sometimes wonder their goal. You know what I'm saying. So I don't always run and purchase them and their prices are very high. So this little guy right here is $115. And I love Burberry. I have Burberry sweaters. I know the house, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I've always been suspicious about the makeup. But this one really drew me and it seemed to have a real creamy, neutral goodness to it. And creamy, neutral goodness should be my middle name. <laughs> my hyphenated middle name. Rebecca, creamy neutral goodness. I cautiously spent $115. I know, I know you can call me crazy if you want. That's okay, I'll accept it. This is a rendition of the modern colors of the house. We are used to seeing Burberry in the kind of cranberry red <clears throat> and black, but you know, they've modernized a bit. If you've seen recent Burberry, and these are the modern house colors. And we have nine satin, satins and metallics um, with um, what they call ultra sensorial textures. Yes, that's right, you heard me right. Ultra sensorial textures that are meant to make the makeup last longer on the eyelids and to impart kind of a, a really useful, easy experience when you apply, whether you are just beginning to experiment with makeup or are a professional makeup artist all the way along. So let's go ahead and look at some swatches and then we're gonna try it on and then I'll tell you my thinking about this $115 palette, and I'll want you to tell me your thinking as well. All right, let's start. Let's do two different lights. Let's start first. Here we go in studio lighting. Here it is as it is laid out in the palette. So you can see it the way it looks when you open up the palette. There they are, the matte satins and metallics in current modern Burberry house colors. So the Burberry is not called a plaid and it's not called a tartan. You should know, and I went to a Burberry event and this was one of the first things they told us. They kind of educate you. Burberry has a check. Because in order to be a tartan, it would have to be associated with a clan, supposedly, in Scotland, and it is not. So uh, Burberry is not a plaid, it is not a tartan, it is a check, just so you guys know that. And this matches the current Burberry check. All right, let's take a look here at these colors in the warm California sunshine. Take a look at that there. Really pretty. Now, normally I mute my videos outside, but I thought you should hear the approval rating of a flock of crows that decided to come sit over while I was filming the outdoor swatches. So do enjoy the crows and what they think of Burberry. I think it's crow approval, but I can't quite tell. But there was like 40 crows that decided to stop over and literally, I should have filmed it, land above my head and scream at me while I was doing the Burberry comparisons. So the crows haven't. <laughs> I think it's a crow approval, I think, I think. All right, well, it's time to try these on, put to the test this uh, ultra sensorial texture that Burberry brags about here, and then we'll give it a little talk. Plus, keep in mind any uh, comparison swatches that you might need. I'm doing a ton of those over on Instagram, and you can always just let me know what you need to see uh, for your purchasing pleasure. But this palette itself is, of course, as always, linked below. It definitely helps the channel when you use those links. It doesn't cost you a penny. Let's go on to the tryout. 
Let's dive in here. I'm actually super excited about this palette. Um, it just seems like so much neutral goodness and it seems so pretty. I've brought over a bunch of Wayne Goss brushes, so we're going to use those. I just, I don't know where to dive in, but I think I'm going to start right here on the top left. And let's see what we get. Oh, it's just kind of, oh, it's just kind of coppery goodness. Um, you know, I reviewed the, a um, little bit on the other eye. The Victoria Beckham, the new copper pencil, and it we liked it. Most people that watched the video liked it more as a one and done kind of shadow. And I said, yeah, but it would be prettier just as a copper, you know, and easier just to do a copper shadow. So I just did that with this. And I'm gonna just run it a little bit under the eyes. And okay, that's it for today. No, I'm kidding, but you know what I'm saying? Like we could, this is another Wayne Goss that I got grabbed here. We could, I could just head out the door, maybe a little bit more under the eyes. I mean, really, what else do you need? Um, and that's just the truth. That's that top shade right there. And uh, you know, like for, this might be my uh, Thanksgiving day look here in the US. It's just really coppery and exactly what I was talking about with the um, Victoria Beckham liner yesterday. Let's pick up another Wayne Goss brush though and we'll, you know, for the sake of using more of the shades, we'll go into this brown right here. Oh, so far I'm really liking this. Um, are these kind of Charlotte Tilbury shades you might be wondering? Yes, but I'm finding this, they are performing so buttery and so beautiful. Um, a lot of issues that I'm hearing with, say, the Lisa Eldridge palettes are they're too, the shades end up looking too similar, they're too um, subtle. Uh, I don't feel that way, but I know that some people do, and these are striking a really nice balance. They're not going on too heavily, but they're really quite beautiful. Um, let me go down here and get this matte, same same brush, you know I hate brush laundry, and I'm just kind of putting painting this matte really quickly just into the, um, the crease, just to give a bit more definition. And since I have hooded eyes, honestly, that's like a recording, I say that so much. Uh, I like to go a little bit above the crease, just a bit. Now it's starting to get to be a really kind of smoky eye, but I like that. Going back to that Wayne Goss brush I used before and just kind of blending all around. And now I, I feel like it needs a little something underneath to balance it. So I'm going to take that matte shade and just run it all the way under. And then I want to stick my finger in here and just kind of put that in the center just to give it a little bit more light. And this uh, brush here, and let's take this right here and just hit this. I'm using a part of the brush I hadn't used. And I can play with this forever. This is kind of a me kind of palette. This is just neutral goodness. And we didn't even go into some, you know, some of these other shades. Basically, it's every shade of neutral you could possibly want from gray and brown and copper into the army greens and the browns. This is a Rebecca palette, so I'm gonna love it. And I'm wondering what your criticisms will be. My guess will, will be that your criticisms will be that it's, you know, we we don't need another neutral palette. Maybe you would be right. I find these, though, to be so beautifully performing. Um, and I, by the way, I purposely did a darker eye because um, I, I tend to do subtle eyes. And I would do a much more subtle eye with this, too, if left to my, <gasps> my own devices. But um, so I wanted to do a little bit darker, deeper, and smokier for you guys today. And that was super easy with this without feeling uh, clownish. I, I feel self I, I'm not a self-conscious person, as you can probably tell, but I do feel self-conscious if my eyeshadow is too dark. Go figure. Um, and so I wouldn't want um, it to be like this with blues and stuff, but with these neutral shades, it feels really pretty and really sophisticated to me. So let me know your thoughts. Um, you know, we're talking $115. So some of you are like, I don't care if it does the dishes and flies around the room and does aerial tricks. I am not paying $115. Fair enough. But, you know, let me know where you stand on that exactly. Again, I'm not your bank manager, so I can't make that call for you. But I'm curious about your opinion, of course. So please leave that below. And any kind of um, swatch comparisons that you need in order to help uh, your purchasing 
decisions, just let me know. I'm happy to put those on in Instagram. If you um, are asking, requesting on Instagram, that's fine. If you're requesting here, let me know your screen name so I can tag you. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that I can continue to build and grow. It's a good thing. Uh, come over and say hi on Instagram on TikTok too. And don't forget, you can become a member of this channel for behind the scenes footage, special members only live, and a really fun little subreddit chat group just for us. And if nothing else, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.